Esta es la imagen del mañana. Que se haga la luz. Amplios espacios abiertos. Este sitio no es para que la gente entre y salga. Nuestro papel. I was just fascinated by these characters, by the circumstances. It was. It's a really unique story, you know, to to build a company from nothing into a forty-seven billion dollar uh, empire is is stunning. Um, and I like the fact that it's such a recent, relevant story. I think that's fascinating, um, and just rich in character. Uh, and when I read the script, it's just really well written, and um, I, I was excited by by the opportunity here. I worked with a great group of Israelis, and they they helped me, they taught me, they guided me, they they beat me up, and uh, helped me uh, uh, do what was necessary. So. Um, yeah, and you know, when you take on a role like that, like this, it's really important to to do the work and dive deep, and you know, and, and make make uh, sure that you don't uh, do a disservice to you know a, a country or a culture or a community. I love to push the boundaries of character. I mean, I'm interested in the extreme, the extremes of humanity, and you know, to, to, for me, it's sculptural. It's like where can we push the you know a piece of clay, um, and um, uh, you know I I I, I like I, I'm fascinated by that journey. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's it's a great way to get an outline uh, of a story, um, and to you know w w and also to find out you know what what people are interested in, because um, in a way you know podcasts are they're they're scripted and uh, uh, so I think it's it's a great it's a great it's a great way to source material yeah I do I think that's right so I well I was deciding whether or not to be a, become a part of this project I watched the Firefest documentary and I was really taken by that story uh, and I saw a parallel between the two of them in terms of people really believing in the vision of a charismatic leader and uh, kind of ignoring uh, very clear evidence that things weren't going to go great, but just kind of investing in this, this singular vision. And I just thought, you know, there, there might be something to this moment in time in which we're all living. Uh, there might be a rich vein in here to tap, because if I'm seeing it repeated in multiple stories. And so I signed on, and then, you know, the more I learned about it, the more I realized that this was a very rich vein. Um, I think that Rebecca was integral to both the founding of WeWork and mm -hmm. its success as a company. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of factors that contribute to the s success of the company. I thought, also think there was a lot of factors that contributed to its demise. And I do question any time uh, anybody tries to lay the failure of something at the feet of a single woman. Because, uh, you know, and so I, I don't necessarily see her as a Lady Macbeth because I don't necessarily see Lady Macbeth as a Lady Macbeth, if you know what I mean. Oh, of course. Of course. Acting is always a challenge, whatever part you play. Um, I, j I love what I do. I love using my imagination. I love being, I guess I love being scared. Um, I love finding freedom in the part. I love telling stories and being a part of a team. Um, and, you know, for me, one of the things that makes uh, an actor an actor of quality is their ability to be able to play a lot of different types of roles, their, their, their range. And so that's something I'm always trying to develop inside of myself. And also, I just, you know, in each one of those uh, stories that you just mentioned, they all had such incredible directors. And, um, and that's one of the things that I always look for um, is who am I telling this story with? Sure. <laughs> Why not? I think that, um, there, you know, there's so many different... I think to a creative mind, uh, anything can be an interesting source material. So, so why not? Why not a podcast? Esta es la imagen del mañana. Que se haga la luz. Amplios espacios abiertos. Este sitio no es para que la gente entre y salga. Nuestro papel es el de crear conciencia global.